Today we'll be making pumpkin and lemongrass soup. We have pumpkin, this, um, this pumpkin here is from my garden. Uh, we'll be using this as the bowl for the soup. Here we have chai tea, lemongrass. We're gonna be boiling this first to soften up the lemongrass and to infuse the flavor of the chai tea into our broth. We we'll also have a mirepoix, onions, carrots, celery, and we we'll also have pumpkin and coconut milk. We're we'll also be using salt and white pepper to season this. So first things first, I'm going to add my water. I got three cups here. I'm going to put that in the pot. I'm going to add my chai tea. And my lemongrass. Now the reason why I'm boiling the lemongrass first into this broth is to infuse all the flavor of the lemongrass in with the chai tea. And then we're gonna strain this and use this for our soup broth. Here we have grapeseed oil. We'll be putting just a few tablespoons into our pot here so we can sweat our vegetables. So now I'm adding my onions. Carrots. And celery. I'm going to sweat those out. Cook them until tender. So now we're sweating our vegetables here. A lot of people always say to me, what does sweating vegetables mean? It means, like, these are aromatic vegetables. So what you want to do is you want to make these vegetables tender and release the flavor into the oil here. That way you season your oil with these aromatic vegetables. Now our vegetables have sweat, they're tender. Starting to get a little bit of color on them. Here's our lemongrass and chai tea. It's been cooking for a while. We're gonna shut that off now. Let that heat for a little while. Now here we're to our uh, mirepoix. We're gonna add our pumpkin. Slowly soften that pumpkin. Give that a quick stir here. Now once our tea here, our, our tea and lemongrass has steeped, we're gonna add that broth into our pumpkin soup veg. So now we're gonna add our lemongrass and chai tea broth that we have here. Put that in there. Now, now we're gonna lower the heat. We just want this to simmer. So our soup has been simmering for about half an hour now. We're going to want it to just keep this simmering for another half an hour to an hour, and then we'll puree, puree it. I'm working on some final touches here. This is going to be a garnish for the soup. I've, uh, I've made some peelings, very long peelings. with uh, pumpkin, using a peeler and peeling the pumpkin. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put a little bit of cornstarch on these pumpkin peelings. This is the flesh, this is not the skin of the pumpkin, it's the flesh. So I'm just coating this pumpkin with a little bit of cornstarch. Now, what I'm gonna do is I want this to crisp up. So using low temperature in a fryer, about 225 to 250. I am now gonna cook this pumpkin in the fryer. This takes approximately two minutes. You want to keep it so it's not sticking with the other pumpkin pieces. You want to do this in small batches. You can do this with any squash or carrots, beets. 
parsnips, potatoes. Just take your peelings or small cuts and you can crisp them up at low temperature in a fryer. The reason why I put cornstarch is it helps in crisping up the vegetable. Now you don't want these pumpkin chips to brown, so as soon as you can feel them with the wand that you're using or the spider that you're using in the fryer, when they start to firm up and when you move them around and they keep their shape, that's when they're done. But if they're still mushy and they don't have any substance to them, then they're not going to crisp up. These ones have crisped up. I'm going to remove them from the fire, strain off extra grease here in the fryer. I'm going to transfer them to this and soak up the excess grease. Now what we want to do is we want to season these a bit of salt, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. These are our pumpkin chips. Now what I'm going to do here We've got a little bit of curry powder. I'm just going to sprinkle on a little bit of curry powder onto my pumpkin chips. So we just finished pureeing our pumpkin soup and now we're going to do our final touches. What I have here is coconut milk honey, salt, and white pepper. So I got three ounces of coconut milk. Add that in there. Half an ounce of honey. Put that in. One teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of white pepper. Stir that in. Now it's time for plating. We have our chai, pumpkin, and lemongrass soup. We have our curry pumpkin chips. We have some roasted pumpkin seeds and some cold pressed pumpkin seed oil. So now execution of this dish is very important. This is a large order of soup. So now since I'm putting the carrot chips, you don't want to see anything in the center of the plate of the small garnishes. So we're going to take our pumpkin chips, put those right in the center of the soup. Give them some height. Now we're going to put some pumpkin seeds in the soup. Next we're going to drizzle some pumpkin seed oil. And there you have it. That's our chai pumpkin and lemongrass soup with curried pumpkin chips cold-pressed pumpkin seed oil and toasted pumpkin seeds.